Hi guys, thank you so much everyone. My name is Joyce and this is Joyce K Content Creator Channel. Here we talk about Canada immigration. We also share tips on how you guys can find greener pastures in different countries. In case this is your content, in case you need such kind of content, this is your place, you're welcome. Kindly click that button, subscribe and stay here. We welcome you, we love new members, we love new family members on this channel. So today we are excited to have a guest. Our guest is no other but uh, Lillian. Her name is Lillian, she's right here with me. She will introduce herself. And then from there, we'll, we'll tell you what we have for you guys. Welcome Lillian. Thank you. Thank you so I'm much. So happy to have you, Lillian. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate. Oh my. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us whether you have a YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, so my name is Lillian Adiambo. Mm -hmm. I am from Kenya. Mm -hmm. I am a nurse by profession. Mm -hmm. I was practicing in a hospital in Kenya and uh, now I'm here in Canada. Yeah. Thanks be to God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Yeah, so I live in Montreal, Quebec. Uh -huh. uh, I've only been here for a week. <laughs> oh, yeah, only for a week. How, how is the snow taking you? <laughs> I'm currently getting adjusted to heat. Uh -huh. so, uh, I've never experienced snow in my life. I know, I know. Yeah, so I'm wow. getting used to like uh, wearing heavy clothes, you know. Mm -hmm. You have to be like cautious with every, everything with, before going out. Yes, you have it because if you go out without wearing like gloves, you will your hands will freeze and they will become very painful. <laughs> very painful, the fingers hurt, so you have yeah. to wear the, the mitten all the time you're going out. Yeah, yeah, sure. wow, wow, nice to have you, Lillian. I'm very grateful to be part and of I'm you. I'm so excited <laughs> about your journey. Thank you. So, I would, I would like you to tell us at least where it began, how you learned about Canada. Let us know. I know you told me that your husband used to watch my videos. Let us know how he found my, because yeah, that was last year. Yeah. Tell us how he started and, and then we get along. Yeah. So being a nurse, I, I always have a dream of like going to work abroad. Mm -hmm. So first it was all about going to the UK. Oh, initially <laughs> it was. Where, yeah. That is where we usually hear that um, most nurses go because it's like, it's easier. Yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. yeah, so my husband started watching your videos. Actually, yeah. he was watching a lot of videos on nursing mm -hmm. abroad. Yeah. And I also came across it. So yeah. I was following it slow by slow. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So there is a time my husband thought um, of uh, continuing with his education. Mm -hmm. So he wanted to do a master's in public policy. Mm -hmm. So he decided to like apply mm -hmm. to McGill University here in Canada. Which university? McGill. McGill, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it took him like, I think, two months. Mm -hmm. Then he got an admission. Wow. So after that, mm -hmm. he decided to like, why not uh, apply for a scholarship? Yeah. <laughs> you know? uh, that's how like um, he did. Uh, so he applied for MasterCard scholarship. Mm -hmm. Wow. And funny enough, mm -hmm. he got it. Also, wow. so yeah. how many times had he tried before? Was this the first one? It was the first one. Wow, he's so <laughs> lucky! He's so lucky. Is it fully funded? Yes, fully funded. Wow, wow. everything, so everything happy. Mastercard takes care of it. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, so that's so, how he came. Yeah, actually, that's how he came. Mm -hmm. So, after getting the scholarship, mm -hmm. he was like, Now I'm going to apply for my study visa. Yeah. So we sat down and it was like, uh, why can't we go together, you know? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So again, we sat down and um, started watching a lot of videos again, uh -huh. getting information here and there yeah. from one place to another. Mm. So like uh, we saw the advantages and the disadvantages of applying mm. as a whole, like us together applying. As a family, in, yeah. Mm. As a family. So mm. we decided that he would go first. Mm -hmm. Settle and then yeah. invite mm -hmm. me. Wow. So, yeah, I think that was the best decision that we made mm -hmm. because Joyce, the application went mm -hmm. on smoothly. I can yeah. tell you. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I think God had just planned that He would come. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. The plans. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so he came to Canada in August 2021, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, settled down, got an address and everything. Yeah. Mm. So after that, um, we sat down again. Mm -hmm. This like uh, so we had a meeting again. Mm -hmm. We checked on what was required. We actually yeah. logged into the IRCC, mm -hmm. checked on all the requirements that they needed. Yeah. And then before the application, mm -hmm. so we gathered all the things that were needed. Yeah. Then we started the application. Wow. Yeah. Your application, ha so you you guys for US, you applied now for work visa. Yes, I applied for open work permit visa. Mm, yeah. yeah. Wow, wow. How long did it take you to get the visa? It took two months, two weeks. Mm -hmm. Two months and two weeks. two weeks. Yeah. Wow. How was the process of visa application for the work? I feel like uh, it was smooth for us because we had mm -hmm. much information that we needed. Mm -hmm. and we gathered all the things that they wanted because they didn't... What, what and what did you use to apply among the documents? Oh, okay, so number one thing, you must have a marriage certificate or a proof mm. that you guys are in a relationship. Yeah. Mm. So we had a marriage certificate from the AG. Mm -hmm. And then we had uh, his documents. Number one, he's a student here in Canada. So yeah. he needs a study permit, mm -hmm. a document. Mm -hmm. uh, he also had the admission mm -hmm. from Matthew. Yeah. Then the scholarship uh, document. Mm -hmm. And then his uh, financial statement. His or all he used the scholarship. Did you have to provide proof of funds separately? Yes, yes we had to. We had to. Or like how much? Uh, we used like uh, one one M. Okay, that's like ten thousand Canadian. Yeah. Or twelve thousand there there about. Uh huh. Yeah. So that was from his side. Mm -hmm. So from my side, I had to had to have a passport. Yes. Is, Obvious. <laughs> yeah. Passport, and then um, mm -hmm. I also had to like have an invitation letter. So he wrote it for me. He wrote it, mm -hmm. he invited me with a letter. Mm -hmm. and then uh, my bank statement too. Mm -hmm. uh, my license, mm -hmm. and then um, now the letter. I also wrote a letter. Oh, yeah. For you are uh, just a minute. I close this door. Sorry, sorry, guys, because <laughs> they were coming to open the door. So, uh, for your bank statement, how much did you require? Uh, mine, I only had uh, two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand. They didn't care so much what you had, but no, you had really. a job. So you also yeah. you showed them that you had a, a, a job. Yeah, I really showed them. I had a a letter from my workplace. Uh -huh. Yeah, that showed them that this is Lillian is working and she's a nurse in our hospital. Mm. Yeah, and she has been on a payroll. Wow. Yeah. So you got a letter also from your employer? Yes, I got a letter from my employer. Wow. Wow. Ah, it's not hard. It doesn't sound hard. It doesn't sound hard mm. when you like, know what you're supposed to have when you put mm. them all together before starting the application. So, yes. That was it. So the reason for coming, you said you're coming to? I'm ca oh, the, the first reason was like, I'm coming to keep my husband company. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what we wrote in the letter, by the way. So oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, we wrote mm -hmm. that um, his name, he said, my name is this and this. I'm inviting my wife. Mm -hmm. This is because I would like her to come and give me company as I'm studying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and I would also want her to work. Mm -hmm. So that we may be able to like take care of our bills. Like that. Yeah. Wow. 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 Yeah, and it was accepted. Yes. And in that letter, you should also state that mm. you are coming to work for this duration of time. Mm -hmm. So the duration of time should be uh, should go hand in hand with his stay in Canada. You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So like uh, he's going to take a year. His master's degree takes only one year. Yes. So yeah. So I had to indicate that I'm only going to stay in Canada for a year. Mm. But after he graduates, we go back home. You yeah. Know? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Just to prevent, you know. Uh, yeah, because you have to give a, a viable reason. 
but yeah. now of course if you if you're here in canada and you can do your process for nursing and get your license and and at, by the end of this one year you can get a license and you get a job offer they can, mm -hmm. they can always retain you i mean you can always remain yeah yeah wow interesting <laughs> guys now i know you're going to ask me oh how is she going to get the license as a nurse here in canada the process is the same same those of you who are nurses now that Lillian is here, she cannot practice as a nurse. She can't. Even though she has a work permit, she can't practice as a nurse because nursing profession is a nursing career is a is a profession that is supposed to be regulated, or rather is regulated. So she needs a license. So that now the steps that we are following, I'm guiding her uh, because I also went through the same process as a as an internationally trained nurse, is to send your documents to NNAS for verification. Once she sent all her certificates and her transcripts, NNAS is actually in the US. It's the CGFNS in the US. Once NNAS evaluates her, they send her report to either Ontario or Quebec. I don't know where you want to practice. So they'll send her report to whichever province she if you if you choose more than one province, you pay more. You can even choose 10 provinces, but each province you pay you pay uh, extra money. But for one province, you pay, I think, $200. Uh, the, no, the initial application is around seven, seven, uh, 700, then each province is like 200. So the more provinces you add, you continue increasing more money. So she chooses which province she wants to, to go, and then and in the essence, her report to the, the CNO. CNO, for example, in Ontario, it is CNO, which is the board for nurses. CNO is now going to go through her papers then they look at her experience then they're going to tell her we maybe you don't we don't see like you have enough experience you may need to go and go back to school and if you have gaps in experience if you have gaps in uh, your studies they may tell you go back to school for one year maybe at york university sometimes they may tell you just challenge the exam which is nclex or sometimes they can even tell you challenge on nclex and oski oski is the practical simulation exam that you do like 10 simulation practicals generally practical so you can combine oski and uh and 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 and, and the clerks. then you once you pass those exams and you are a permanent resident they can give you a license so if lillian is not a permanent resident yet she cannot uh she cannot get a license as a nurse that's the clause mm -hmm. for now she will not get until now she become the permanent resident and she will become a permanent resident if the husband graduates and then after graduation, he can he can get a postgraduate work permit maybe for one year or two years, depending. After he works and he gets experience, or after Lillian gets experience, they can apply for PR. They have a chance to apply for PR. Then now when she's a PR, she can always she can always become a nurse. But before then, she can work other jobs. She, maybe she can do short courses like like um, like uh, what is it called? The one that doesn't require. Um, uh, a license like what is it psw she can do psw caregiver courses she can do something that will allow her to work in a hospital so that she can gain even experience and see how the other nurses are working in the meantime but it's a journey that is worth it so it's good that she's still very young as you heard she only has i think one year or two years experience in her career so she has a, she 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 has the she has it now she has it i'm so happy lillian for you <laughs> thank you and i know you will make it amen <laughs> yeah so unless you have something to tell them uh i just want to give them a word of encouragement yeah uh, this thing is possible by the way mm -hmm. let no one tell you that oh you cannot go to canada because of this you do not have this just learn slowly. Uh, Joyce has a channel here. People have channels out there. Yeah. Watch the YouTube videos. Yes. Get enough information. If you have mm. people, you can ask mm. uh, what is required, um, mm. what mistakes can you avoid, you know? Mm. So mm. after doing that, then you are good to go. Yeah. Uh, personally, I never knew that uh, I would even be here right now. Yes. speaking yeah mm -hmm. but after like uh seeing what other people do mm. going through like the videos learning more about uh immigration mm. i got the courage to do this yes um, to yes. apply mm. and um this is just a reminder 
Mm -hmm. Like if you are really planning to come to Canada with a spousal visa, yeah, have enough proof mm. that you have um, a that you have a relationship together. Yes, because mm -hmm. they they really check that thing very much. I remember when I was in the immigration like in the airport now in the migration space, mm. and they were like, where is the evidence that you are in a relationship with this person? We want to see them, you know? <laughs> so you showed them chats in WhatsApp? No, I only showed them the the, let, the marriage certificate. Mm -hmm. But now during my application, I had mm -hmm. to show the marriage certificate. I had to show the chats. Mm -hmm. On WhatsApp? Yes. <laughs> we screenshotted everything, WhatsApp, Facebook, mm -hmm. Wow, it was everything. I mean, mm. from the time which you started uh, dating, mm. keep those chats. Do not <laughs> delete anything. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah, especially mm. Facebook because uh, I understand that WhatsApp sometimes gets it uh, expires. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So if you have Facebook, then I would really recommend people to be chatting through Facebook because it okay. doesn't expire. on Messenger. Yeah, on Messenger. Very yes. few couples chat on Messenger. Very, <laughs> yes. few, very few, as in, the, why would I go to Messenger and I have got WhatsApp? Have WhatsApp yeah? yeah, because I feel like Messenger is the thing that uh, saved us a lot because it's all yeah. our chats mm. from 2017, you know. Mm. So at least they saw that oh, these people have been dating for this time, mm. and uh, we show them also our pictures, yeah take a lot of pictures a lot a lot a lot a lot because it also boosts your application you know it brings it high yeah you take a lot of pictures mm. uh, and just uh Canadians believe in pictures a lot yes yes mm. we really took a lot of them we mm. yeah we used a wow. lot of pictures wow 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 Lillian I'm so happy for you <laughs> Thank you. So happy for you guys. You can see it is possible. Lillian and the husband have made it. I thank God that I have contributed towards your coming. And uh, Lillian also has a YouTube channel. Lillian is going to tell us her process step by step on her channel. Follow her. Follow her in case you want to, to ask her anything. She will be answering on the comments on her videos. Uh, she has done a few videos on her channel. I have checked her channel and I'll share the link of her channel. It's called Lillian Othiambo, just by her name. It's only that she didn't add the other name, Othiambo. I'll be adding it on the description. Check the description. Also check the first comment. You, you just need to click that link. It will take you to her channel. Let's subscribe. Let's support her. Because you can imagine how many people she's going to help with her information. Show us how Quebec is. Take videos for the snow in Quebec. Show us the, how the place looks like. I but the way, how are you coping with Quebec and the and the language? Oh my God, it's a challenge. <laughs> I wouldn't <laughs> lie. Are you learning? Are you already learning? Yeah, I'm trying to learn uh, step by step in YouTube. On or you can also use Duolingo. Oh, okay. I just upload Duolingo and then start. Duolingo is the easiest because they'll take you like a baby step one. When they when they realize that you have passed that stage, they take you to the next one. I'm also learning. Oh, okay. I'm also <laughs> I will definitely do that because I feel like it's like the only language they use here. Mm. Most of the people use French. So you're like, excuse, I don't understand French. Ah, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're telling everybody, I don't understand. But French. you can take advantage by the way and learn something before you yeah. leave to back. It actually prompt me to like, uh, mm. challenge yourself. Language. Challenge yourself. Because for yeah. me, I've never lived anywhere people speak a lot of French. So mm -hmm. and, and, and until now, when my kids started speaking French, because they speak French among themselves, and they oh. can talk with me, and I don't want that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm pambaring, I'm pambaring yeah. to learn that French. Wow. So we can help each other, Lillian. We can start classes together. <laughs> yeah, we should. <laughs> yeah. Wow, wow. I'm happy for you guys. Thank you so much. If you want any, anything from Lillian, her email, and anything you want, follow her on her channel. And uh, with that, bye-bye. God bless you. Bye. <laughs>